The income tax amendment bill was read for a second time today in the Senate. Attorney General Faris al Rawi said the five clauses that were removed would have allowed the Board of Inland Revenue to exchange taxpayers' information without consent with another competent authority. And the amendments that we proposed in clauses 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, we kept some of 6, we kept the offenses. But the rest of it, even though it is illogical in the extreme to understand why we cannot agree to put in a formula exactly as FATCA to say you don't need consent and you don't need the exception to the Data Protection Act. Even though we said that already and agreed it in principle, regrettably we could not achieve the three-fifths majority support with the opposition. He said the law is proportionate and is intended to feed TNT with the opportunity to have a fighting chance. I heard Prime Minister Mia Motley yesterday at CARICOM say, claim the ground you have, and then move on. It was this government's opportunity to claim the ground we have, to write to the Financial Action Task Force as we did on Friday, November 30th, and God willing, if this House approves, if the Senate approves this bill, to give us that fighting chance to say to the Global Forum, take us seriously. While debating on the income tax bill, opposition Senator Gerald Ramdeen explained why the opposition did not propose any amendments to the legislation by using an analogy. When you have a running down action and you get into an accident and the vehicle is damaged too badly, they call it a write-off. It have no way you could repair it. And you know, that is the analogy I want to use with respect to this piece of legislation. It's like a write-off. You can't repair it. It makes no sense. 